We do have Amanda Corker, uh, and Amanda is going to tell us about um, putting a financial plan in a picture. So over to you, please, Amanda. Thank you, Cass. Good morning, everyone. Um, yeah, so I've been asked to share a top tip today, and this is something that's really worked for me. It's my financial plan in a picture. So we all have suitability reports, lots of words to send to clients, and we do cash flow forecasts with lots of numbers. But with 65% of us being visual learners, including me, um, I wanted to create a picture that I could use with clients that would sort of bring the different elements of financial planning together, um, something that could stick in people's minds and be an aid memoir for the discussions that we had. So I created my financial planning house. So I'm going to share my screen. Hopefully that will work. Hopefully you can see that. Um, right, so I use this image um, in a number of different ways. So I will draw it um, with clients during a meeting, either on an iPad or using a piece of paper. I'll talk through the different elements and the building blocks of this financial planning house. Um, I also use it as a slide like I'm using it today. And then I also annotate it and put specific detail for each client in paragraphs alongside. Um, so I'm going to move, show you what that might look like. Hopefully you can see that. Oh, sorry, there you go. Um, so you can see on here, I've got a specific um, plan here for a client. In, on this one, I've written down a paragraph for each one and it's personalized. So for this client, they've got a particular issue with protection at the moment. I've got a traffic light system that looks at the priorities for their plan. Um, but ultimately, so I will use this as part of the financial plan and I will also use it as part of a review. So um, it's the thread that really links the initial discussion through the recommendation and then also the review. Um, and I find it really works for clients. They've, I've had great feedback. They say that there's a lot of information to take in, but this is a really simple visual to sort of link everything together. Um, it provides some context and it has, it's something that they can't kind of remember. So we go back to, to this each time and they'll say, oh, I'm trying to build my pillars or I'm trying to build um, more money in my emergency funds. So, and for me, I use this with every client, obviously, depending on their situation, um, I will focus on different areas, um, but I do go through everything. And so the benefit of doing that has been um, that I've got more cases, I've got a bit more business, quite often I'll pick up some protection when um, I'm, I maybe hadn't thought that that would be the case. Um, and also I will get referrals because people like the way this works and it means something. So they'll say, oh, it would be really good to, if you could talk about this uh, with my son or my daughter. So it has, it has been good from that point of view. So I'm going to um, tell you how I talk it through. So I start off these two bits down here, are these two elements are the foundation of my house. And um, I talk about budgeting and not having a leaky bucket. So um, ensuring that you're spending with intent. And I talk about protection. So life, protecting your life and protecting your income. So those are the foundations of my house. And without them, the whole house could come crumbling down. Um, I then talk about my four pillars, which are these gray boxes here. Um, and I start off with the emergency funds, talking about the importance of cash on deposit. Um, I then talk about retirement planning and building your funds for retirement. I will go off and do a separate, because obviously that's a big topic on its own. So I will then go off to a different diagram that talks about compound growth and the benefits of starting early. Um, I then talk about investment portfolios and the importance of building passive income. Um, and then tax planning and utilizing different allowances and different tax wrappers so that you're, um, re you know, it's great for reviews because you can make sure you've covered off all of the different things where you can, um, and also build, using different wrappers so that you can get tax-free income at the other end. And then finally, 
Um, I talk about the roof of my house, which is estate planning, but I, I really use that to talk about long-term care, power of attorneys, wills, trusts, um, and it just sort of starts the conversation. And sometimes that might be for somebody who's younger and um, you know there'll be a smaller conversation about that, or maybe people that are sort of later in life where that's sort of a big focus for the meeting. Um, so I've had good feedback. Clients find it's a really good way of remembering things and it all coming together. Um, and as I say, it's been really useful for me. So um, that's my financial plan in a picture. It's a quick um, tip, um, but I would suggest it certainly worked for me having a picture and it would be good to find something that works for you. Um, or I'm happy to share it as well. I'll make sure I send that on to Sarah and Kath. That's it. That's my quick tip today.